Hello and welcome everybody. Yes, it is me, HJP Designs, and I'm back on the YouTube. Yes, it's been a while. It's been... It has been a while, actually. Yes. Uh, thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to the old subscribers for commenting and watching these videos. It does mean a lot. Um, I am back with another video for you all. Um, just to give you a bit of a an insight to what I've been doing I've been working with a podcaster we are currently doing a um, uh, what can I call it it's more of a, uh, a who pod where we talk about Doctor Who and the other things so I've been doing that at the that's why there's been such a gap I've been working with them um, if you would like to hear them um, I'm not sure when they will be out I will check and I will ask them very nicely if we could share them on here for people who don't have shout SoundCloud and all the other stuff that he's on. Um, I'll ask them very nicely if we can put them on here and then you can listen to them and join in the conversation. Um, I can't really reveal much about it, but it is Doctor Who, um, you know, themed. So, of course... Uh, yesterday we had a tiny bit of news not much because they are still filming series uh, 13 I had to think then there's so many series my brain just you know um, they're still filming 13 but they had like a comic con yesterday that they revealed some news and some surprising news not much but it's still something that we can talk about. So, according to Chif Chris Chibnall, the next series is going to have a lot of cliffhangers and surprises and shocks. Fair to say we have had our shocks, major twists and stuff from the master in the last series, Joe Martin's rival, and the timeless child, you know, finding out the Doctor is a timeless child, all that. So, wonder what they can be. But um, <clears throat> let's start with the news that we have gained another companion. Yes, we have uh, gained another companion called uh, the actor is called Jacob Anderson. Uh, many people would know him from Games of Thrones and other things. Uh, um, he's going to be called Vinder. So. That was the special guest that they said there was going to be a special guest. Um, that was it. New companion to go along with the new trio. Dun -dun -dun. As in trio, I mean the Doctor, Yaz and Dan. Dan the man. Um, that's really weird. I'm not going to do that again. Um, so, yeah. So, we've got another companion to go along with it. I mean, the trailer looks ever so good. It, it said... Her biggest adventure yet returns later this year, which, well, considering they're still filming, yeah, will return later this year. So, judging by the behind-the-scenes pictures we've seen of Weeping Angels, Santarans, and that, there was a picture of a Weeping Angel, and in the background there was, like, punk... Uh, punk can't say my words now. Pumpkins. And um, so that could be a Halloweeny one, which would be quite interesting if it could be on Halloween. I don't know what day Halloween is on. I think it might be on a um, on a, uh, a Saturday or Sunday this year. I'm not sure. I mean, I like <coughs> with the whole Saturday and Sunday thing with Doctor Who. I quite miss it being on a Saturday because that used to be oh, it's Saturday. You know, it's Saturday night, it's Doctor Who night, you know, let's watch it. But being on a Sunday, in a way, is good, because there's nothing on on a Sunday. But it's like, oh, it's Sunday. Oh, oh, Doctor Who. Um, Do Doctor Who night, ooh. But then you can talk about it the next day when your mates at school. So it's like, ooh, it's all good. Um... So yeah, but I, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> there's been a lot of rumours this series as well that Jodie Whittaker is leaving. La di da, oh, she's gonna leave next year in the specials. Blah blah blah. To be honest, 
I think some of them just make them up because they don't like Jodie Whittaker. It's not about... If you're a true, and I mean a true... I don't mean these fans who go, Oh, I'm a true Doctor Who fan. I've watched it from number... You know, Doctor number nine. It's like, no, no, no. If you truly understand Doctor Who, you don't care what gender the Doctor is. You know, I don't care whether... She or he... It's a she or a he. It's the Doctor. It's an alien. You know. So, with these rumours that... Alright, yeah, maybe she is leaving next year. Which would be good, because that would actually lead it up to the 60th anniversary. Maybe this is what they're thinking. I don't know. Anyway. So, the... Yeah, sorry. I went off on a trail there. I do apologise. Anyway, so this series not been much... Um, stuff about it other than what they said yes uh, yesterday so we have had chris chibnall said uh, a lot of cliffhangers this year which do you know what i it's good because if you've seen his work before in torchwood and broadchurch you kind of know what cliffhangers you're going to get and with the other cliffhangers we've had in doctor who um he also said there are a couple of my favourite cliffhangers that we've done this year. I think you know them. Hmm? I don't know what that means, but anyway. Um, John Bishop also said There's, there have been so many surprises that i never seen coming. Not at all, so I think it's definitely some shocks. So what could that mean? What surprises and shocks are we going to be in for? Is there going to be another Time Lord turn up? Or is there going to be some weird secret about Dan or Vinda or is there something happened between the Doctor and Yaz maybe because um, there's been uh, since well since uh, the New Year's uh, Day special and where will they pick up there's been a lot of travelling with those two which could mean in later years Big Finish do do the Doctor and Yaz adventures which would be quite funny to listen to. But, um, yeah, uh, what shocks and surprises are we in for? I mean, according to John Bishop, there are such brilliant stories going through Doctor Who at the moment. Um, he says, so you're at an end of an episode, and this is this is what John Bishop has said he said uh, you're at an end of the episode and I know in previous theory, series there have been something of a double episode or something but this year each each episode ends on a brink of what you're thinking like what happened what's gonna happen I mean that's Doctor Who off to a T because you know I think that every time if I watch a classic episode even though I've seen it probably a million times I still sit there and go what the hell oh no oh Oh, wait, what's... Oh, you know, it's just that... You know, it's like... When we had um, the Master appear, it's like, huh? Hang on a minute, what's going on? And then when Joe Master's Doctor appeared, and I'm like, what's going on? That's kind of feeling you want to watch when you're watching Doctor Who. You want, not what, you know what I mean. You know, and um, he continues, John Bishop continues to say, I think that if... I was the fan that would be the same. I sorry, hang on. I think that if I was the fan, that would be the thing that would make this series so different to previous series. Which, in a way, yeah, is good because if there's more cliffhangers, more shocks and stuff, it's like, oh my god, it brings you back to watch more. Um. There's going to be a lot of unanswered questions as well. It's like, ooh. Um, also, it sounds like Series 13 will be quite a ride for us Doctor Who fans with enough twists and turns to make the trip through the time vortex seem like a pleasure cruise. Haha, <laughs> that was just a, a quote I thought I'd read there. But, um... Yeah, so we've got quite a lot of stuff going on with the the you know the the Doctor Who stuff, new companions. I mean, there's not a lot that they revealed about um, 
Doctor Who, but they can't really because they're still in filming. Um, so yeah, I mean, oh, and there's also confirmed that old monsters will be returning, which is good because I like to see an old, an old um, classic. You know, we know there are two monsters coming back, and that's the Sartan, the uh, Sontarans, and the Weeping Angel. We know they're coming back. According to... Uh, I think it's Mandic Gill. Um, I think she said this, yeah. He said, it's so special to work with new monsters. We're the first people to interact. Old monsters, there's one in particular that she says she's excited about. Uh, previously, the Doctor have fought the Daleks, the Cybermen to June. And it said, it's rumoured that the classic photos and Tolerance and Weeping Angels are coming up. Of course. There have been... <coughs> <coughs> It said we have seen those pictures because people put them on the internet. Um, you know, and, and it's good. I like it. I just wish. I mean, I wish it every series of Doctor Who that they would bring back more classic monsters. You know, like like um, the Sea Devils and the Vok robots and the Yetis. Who would love to see a Yeti back? You know. But uh, it's not, it's not up to us, it's up to the writers. So, yeah. So, that's it, really. Thank you very much for watching me babble on, as I do. Like I said, there weren't a lot of news to go through today. But hopefully soon, soon, we will get um, some more news. Yeah. So, thank you very much for listening, if you did listen. Um, don't forget to leave your comments below because I will be reading them out in my next video I do try to get these out on time um, yes yeah, so don't forget to like subscribe and comment and click the bell so you get nav navigations of my videos and I will let you know when uh, these Doctor Who podcasty things I've been doing with this podcaster comes out and uh that is it so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like subscribe i've just said that and i will see you next time so bye bye